types of foundation. Depending upon their nature and depth, foundations have been categorized as follows. 1. Open foundations or shallow foundations. 2. Deep foundations. 1. Open or shallow foundation. This is the most common type of foundation and can be laid using open excavation by allowing natural slopes on both sides. This type of foundation is practicable for a depth up to 5 meters and is normally convenient above the water table. The various types of spread footings are 1. Wall footings 2. Isolated footings 3. Combined footings 4. Inverted arch footings 5. Continuous footings 6. Cantilever footing 7. Grillage footing. Wall footings. These footings can either be simple or stepped. The base course of these footings can be concrete or of entirely one material. They have only one projection beyond the width of the wall on either side. The width of the concrete base should be at least equal to twice the width of the wall. The depth of the concrete bed is at least equal to the projection. Generally the projection provided in the footing is 15 cm on either side and the concrete mix comprises of cement, sand and aggregate in proportion of 1, 3 is to 6 or 1, 4 is to 8. Isolated or column footing. They are used to support individual columns. In case of heavy loaded columns, steel reinforcements is provided. Generally, 15 cm offset is provided on all sides of concrete bed. The footing of concrete columns may be slab, stepped or sloped type. Combined footing. A combined footing supports two or more columns in a row. The combined footing can be rectangular in shape if both the columns carry equal loads or can be trapezoidal if both the loads are unequal. Generally they are constructed of reinforced concrete. The location of the center of the gravity of the column loads and centroid of the footing should coincide. Inverted arch footing. This type of footing is used on soft soils to reduce the depth of the foundation. Loads above an opening are transmitted from supporting walls through inverted arches to the soil. In this type of footings the end columns must be stable enough to resist the outward pressure caused by the arch action. Continuous footing. In this type of footing a single continuous RC slab is provided as foundation of two or three or more columns in a row. This type of footing is suitable at locations liable to earthquake activities. This also prevents differential settlements in structures. Strap of cantilever footing. Strap footing consists of two or more individual footings connected by a beam called strap. This type of footing is used where the distance between the columns is so great that the trapezoidal footing becomes quite narrow with bending moments. Grillage footing. This type of footings is used to transmit heavy loads from steel columns to the soils having low bearing power. This type of arrangements prevents deep excavations and provides necessary area at base to reduce the intensity of the pressure. Deep foundations. These foundations carry loads from a structure through weak incompressible soils or fills onto the stronger and less compressible soils or rocks at depth. These foundations are in general used as basements, buoyancy rafts, caissons, cylinders, shaft and piles. Deep foundations. 1. Basements. They are constructed in place in an open excavations. They are hollow substructures designed to provide working space below ground level. 2. Buoyancy rafts. They are hollow substructures designed to provide a buoyant substructure beneath which reduce net loadings on the soil to the desired low density. 3. Caissons. They are hollow substructures designed to be constructed on or near the surface and then sunk as single units to their required level. Deep foundations. 4. Cylinders. They are single small cell caissons. 5. Shaft foundations. They are constructed within deep excavation supported by lining constructed in place and subsequently filled with concrete. 6. Pile foundations. The pile foundation is a construction supported on piles. A pile is an element of construction composed of timber, concrete or steel or a combination of them. The piles may be placed separately or they may be placed in form of a cluster throughout the structure. Thank you.